Hey guys and welcome to this video called 430 days later a comet is coming. So uh, this is some very interesting information that um, I've seen uh, just released on Sky and Telescope and spaceweather.com and it is about a an amateur astronomer which has found a comet which is incoming and it's in Virgo at the moment. So uh, Jesus said that uh, the Father revealed, he revealeth these things unto babes, and uh, this has not been found by NASA, um, although NASA have added the comet into their database. It's been uh, recognized by the, uh, by the uh, space industry, if you will, and um, it is accepted that this, uh, this comet is, is now as, as a part of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory database. So here we can see uh, in Sky and Telescope, it says amateur Don Mashholtz discovers his 12th comet. Uh, the comet brightens and gets an official name. So it says with all the automated searches busily looking for anything crawling across the sky, it's a wonder an amateur can still discover a comet. He revealeth these things unto babes. Yet that's exactly what happened on November the 7th. When Arizona's Don Matchalt, the most successful living visual comet hunter, visually picked up a new comet in Virgo near the break of dawn. Two Japanese observers um, have, have also spotted it and potentially will have their autograph added to the comet's final official name, which they have. So uh, you can see that this comet uh, is, has made big news in the space industry and of course it fits in perfectly with uh, November the 27th. Here we can see on uh, spaceweather.com amateur astronomers find a bright new comet. There's a new comet in the morning sky discovered just last week by three amateur astronomers uh, and two, uh, one in Arizona and two in Japan. Comet Mashalt's Fujikawa Iwamoto has quadrupled in brightness over the past few days so it's getting brighter and brighter. It is now glowing like a fuzzy 8th grade magnitude star in the constellation Virgo. Um, reports Michael Yagov of Turkmokal, Austria, who, pop, who photographed it on uh, November 11th, so it's coming in closer, right? Uh, the discovery of a near-Earth comet by amateur astronomer is a rare event these nowadays because robotic near-Earth objects search programs usually catch them first. My special congratulations to the three discoverers. And uh, here we can see the orbital um, uh, 3D comet uh, orbit and uh, I'm going to go into this uh, celestial program. I've already downloaded the comet into my celestial program and I'm going to show you where it is and I think this is going to blow your minds. So uh, it appears to be the first time visitor to the inner solar system. It's plunging toward the sun on a nearby parabolic orbit that will take it just inside the orbit of Mercury. Closest approach to the sun is on uh, December 3rd and 4th. Closest approach to the earth Guess when? You guessed it, on November the 27th, 430 days after the Revelation chapter 12 sign. So it says, fresh comets like this one are notoriously unpredictable. They can surge in brightness, seeming to promise a spectacular display when suddenly they fizzle as fragile deposits of ice and are exhausted. No one knows if this comet will even become a naked eye object. And at the moment, it's still an easy target for backyard telescopes with a uh, promise of unpredictability. Stay tuned. Okay, so now let's have a look and see today. Uh, we can see this is, uh, this is the map uh, as it is today on November the 13th. Uh, this is uh, Virgo that we're looking at and in the center uh, is where you can see the uh, where you can see the comet. So Virgo, uh, the, the, the comet is just around the the uh, the chest area of Virgo okay and as you can see Venus is coming into retrograde motion Venus here so I'm going to go forwards Venus is actually in retrograde motion at the moment because we're we are overtaking Venus and here you can see as I go so uh, from today let's start off from today uh, and that's so we're on November the 13th see Venus is in retrograde so it's kind of going backwards See where, the, see where the comet is. It's moving through Virgo. Now it's going down to Virgo. It's between her legs. Okay. Now it's moving across. We're on November the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Look at that. Okay. So on November the 27th, you can see that the comet is almost exactly in line with the... Uh, with the with the alignment that we see with Earth 
the Sun, Mercury, and Jupiter. Okay, and there's the comet. Look at that. And that, on the 27th, is when the comet is the closest to the Earth. And see where the comet is? The comet is in the serpent's kaput. The comet is in the serpent area of Ophiuchus. So, I'm pretty stoked because uh, this is a another indication. The fact that the comet is, has suddenly arrived in the constellation of Virgo, which is where the Revelation chapter 12 sign is. The fact that the comet is closest to the Earth on the 27th of November. And the fact that the comet is in line with the alignment that we see. And it's in the, uh, the area of the serpent, which is, uh, which is what Ophiuchus is uh, is holding so uh, I've just got I've just gone up a level of being more excited and uh, woo -woo, I'll see you in the sky